Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic. In this video, it's going to be on how to install a custom kernel on your Samsung Fascinate running Gingerbread uh, ROM of CyanogenMod 7, either the nightly build or the stable release of 7.2 or 7.1. Um, in order to do this, you are going to obviously need to have root. And I will put the link in the description for the kernel. The one I will be running is called Glitch version 13 and it allows you to overclock your device to up to 1.7 gigahertz. Now around 1.7 gigahertz it becomes very unstable but I found, and I've used this uh, kernel before, that anywhere between 1.4 and 1.5 is perfectly fine. And I will show you how to do that along with some of the extra settings you'll need and um, I will run Quadrant Standard also to show you the uh, score. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously download the kernel. As you can see I've already downloaded it on my device. Now you're going to want to go ahead and boot into your custom recovery. So we go to reboot, go to recovery, and you can't do this through ROM Manager because ROM Manager does not recognize this uh, clockwork mod recovery of flashed. So just waiting for it to reboot. As you can see, we are now in our clockwork recovery. And what I meant earlier is, as you can see, it says clockwork 5.0.2.8. Basically, the official Samsung Fascinate clockwork mod is around 3.2, but this has been updated unofficially. So, as you can see, 5.0.2.8. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is go down to install zip from SD card. And um, this installation will automatically wipe your delicate cache. So, go to choose zip from SD card and now go to wherever you have saved that file mine is under downloads zoom in a little bit now we're going to go to the as you can see cm7 fascinate glitch version 13.1 rel.zip i'm going to go ahead and select that now if you're doing this on a telus fascinate link will be in the description for that also the steps will be the same however it will be um, a different kernel. So we will go ahead and hit install. And now uh, we'll go ahead and go back. And we're now going to reboot the system. So I will come back when my phone has rebooted. Alright, so at this time, your device should be rebooted. Now we're going to go into our settings just to show you what kernel we're running on settings down to about phone and then if you go down you can see 2.6.35113 or 13 glitch version 13 for the fascinate now we'll go ahead and I'll show you the app you're going to want to download in order to take more control over your device so you're going to go into the Android market go up here and you can just type in CPU go and the Etutu CPU Master Free will let you customize your um, your CPU speed if you're on root so hit install accept and download alright so it's done downloading now go into your launcher and we're going to go ahead and scroll over to or scroll up to CPU master. Okay. Allow it to get super user access. And as you can see, we can now up up uh overclock it to up to 1.7. No, I'm not going to overclock to 1.7 because as I said earlier, it does tend to freeze at that point. But we're going to go up to 1.5, leave it there, and as you can see, we're going to hit apply. Give it a second, and it is still running good. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch the Quadrant Standard, but first I'm going to go ahead and go to On Demand and put it on Performance, hit apply. And basically what this does is it keeps the CPU running at 1500 MHz at all time. Now we'll go ahead and launch Quadrant Standard to show you how fast this actually is. Normally, um, 
on a bloat version of bloatware version of Verizon. I hit about 1400 with a uh, CyanogenMod mod with the normal kernel. I'm hitting around 2000, but with this new kernel, I'll show you how fast it actually is. And as you can see, your device, it is hitting at 3,669, just below the HTC One X, which is the quad-core phone, and the Asus Transformer, which is a tablet. But it outsmokes the Atrix, the Galaxy Tab, the Nexus, the Desire, Optimus, and the Nexus S. Now, obviously, day-to-day -day use, you won't really tell the difference, but in Quadrant Standards, you can see the score is extremely high. So that's pretty much the kernel. As you see, it's buttery smooth. Um, battery life is really good if you keep it on Smart Ass or Governor. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or PM me. Um, links will be in the description for both kernels for the Fascinate on Verizon Wireless and on Telus. Um, I'll be doing more kernel reviews and more operating system reviews for Android. So stay tuned. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.